Hi, I'm Cassie Schaefer, and this is part 7 of the Linux Files tutorial. In this video, we'll be discussing piping. Piping, similar to redirection, pipes send the output of one command to the input of another, thereby chaining simple commands together to perform more complex processing than a sing single command can do. Now let's open a Linux terminal to do some examples. So now I have a Linux terminal open, and the first example we're going to do is chain listing the files in the current directory with doing a reverse sort and displaying the output. So the first question we ask ourselves, well, what are the two commands that we know that do this? The first is the ls command to list the files, and the second is to sort command with the option reverse. So the input is going to be the ls command because we're putting in the list of files input into the sort command. So we use the pipe key which it may be different on your system but mine is with the backslash key and it's under my backspace button. So I just shift backslash to get that and then I type in my sort command with my option to do a reverse sort. And as you can see, here's the list of my files in my current directory and it's reverse sort. Now let's do this in alphabetical. So we do ls, which is going to be the input to our sort command, and pipe sort. And as you can see, it sorted uh, the files alphabetically. Now the next example we're going to do is chain listing the files in the current directory with finding the line count that results in the number of files in the directory displayed. So again, we're going to be working with the ls command, but instead of working with the sort, we're going to be working with the word count command and the option line count. So the input again is going to be ls, followed by the pipe to tell Linux to put this in the next command listed, and then wc option L to get the line count. As you can see it says that we have three files in our current directory and as we can see from the above examples that is correct. Now you don't necessarily know have to know how to do piping but once you become an experienced programmer it might be helpful for you to know down the line. This is the final video in the Linux Files tutorial. If you follow this link, it's a quiz over all material that has been covered in the Linux tutorials, not just the ones I've covered. And here are some links that have more info if you're interested. Thanks for listening.